Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick and this is the outdoors. Walleye fishing, but something different. We're going to actually cast jerk baits, twitch baits, whatever you call them, basically. There's a bunch of different names for them. We're gonna cast them for walleyes today. We're gonna see if we can make something happen. We got a flat, calm day. So I have a feeling a lot of the walleyes are gonna do one of two things. They're either gonna be tight to bottom or they're going to be suspended. A lot of times when it gets glass calm like this, they'll suspend from pre previous and past experiences, especially on this lake. So I am going to probably stay tight to shore and cast out so I can also sight fish a little bit for them or for even for pike, I've happened to see a pike. I've got some pike rods ready, that type of thing as well. But for the most part, like I said, jerk baits for walleye. And yeah, we'll talk about a little bit why and what as we start fishing. So let's do it. Well, a common theme for Clayton Sheck Outdoors is it's hot. This is something you can do without electronics, which is actually quite nice. So let's get closer to shore and start zinging. I think I'm gonna cast out. Maybe I'll cast towards shore to start with. Bright day, bright color. Ooh. That's a walleye right there, a nice one too. It's coming, it's coming. Oh yeah. Oh, a different one hit it. There's two of them there. That is cool. Sight fishing. Oh, there was two of them there. I'm gonna tell them down here. These birds are loud. Make sure my head camera's recording. Oh, it was, and I lost them as I was doing that, that's okay. That wasn't the one I wanted anyway. Shh. That didn't work. Okay, there was another one there. I'm gonna make another cast. That was cool. That was cool. This is gonna work. First two walleye I saw. And a lot of times they'll be in packs, right? Like twitch, 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 twitch. This is so cool. Let's get one more cast there. It's like a, probably an 18, 19 inch walleye that I lost. That's okay though. Bigger one, I would have took it a little bit more serious. These birds are loud, like really loud. I have to talk pretty loud to talk over top of you guys, you know. Oh, carp. Okay, well, it didn't take too long. Just been, just been going along these kind of islands here, shoreline type of thing and just casting out. And I actually had seen that walleye s sitting there suspended next to a sucker, cast it out and then another walleye came from a different direction. So let's keep going here. Nice little rock sand transition here. I like this, it's just shallow though, but they could be up here yet. Oh, there's one. Little guy though. Oh, got him. <laughs> as if, as if. The only fish that I've seen, I've literally casted to and caught. That is unreal, unreal. Okay, okay. Nice, well that, Crankbait definitely works. He's little, but I say that, when I say little, he's still like probably 19 inches anyway. <laughs> Unbelievable. Literally like the second, or I guess third fish I've seen. One that I saw and I cast a two and caught the other one and this guy just was going by. So that's pretty good considering I haven't seen many yet. So I'll show something here in the shallows really quick. So what I'm doing is I'm casting it out. You could straight retrieve it, but I fully believe that pause is what's gonna trigger it a lot of times. So I'll twitch, twitch, twitch. Maybe sometimes I'll go twitch, twitch, twitch reel. I'll go like twitch, 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 let it pause. I'll go twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. But that suspended action definitely seems to trigger them a lot of times. I'll talk about baits and what you can use and whatnot in a little bit. We want to catch some more, catch some more fish first. Oh, he's chasing it. Look at this walleye chase. I'm gonna try to get my trolling motor off. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. 
It's coming. It's coming. Look at it. Look at it. That's unreal. Unreal. I didn't, I was switching away from him quicker because I wanted to get him closer to the boat to try to get him to eat it. But he was chasing it aggressive. Right now, there's lots of bait fish in the shallows. Those walleye are keen in on those minnows big time. I find most of these fish to be on the sharper drop-offs. Right now I have like a really slow gradual drop-off. I find that they hang more on that tight, tight drop-off right on the edge of it when it's like this anyway. So I think what I'm gonna do is I know it gets better up here where it's a sharper contour. After this stretch, I'm gonna focus on those areas. It's got that sharp drop off. And I might run and gun a little bit, or I might pick like one shoreline I know that has like a sharp drop off type of thing. But for the most part, they're hovering right off, just off of that, uh, how should I say it? It comes, they're not hovering at the deepest area. They're hovering right off of like the shelf that's out here, almost like a suspended walleye, I guess, type of thing. So how should I say it? If the shelf, if the shelf goes like this and like this, they're out hanging here, suspended off of this depth that was like here. So say if it's three feet where it starts to be gradual and then makes a quick drop off, they'll be suspended out in like three feet of water off there. That's what I find when it gets like really calm, they'll do it. Lots, lots of times they'll do that in the Northern Lakes too just deeper oh oh that's that's not uh that's not a walleye that's a pike but that's okay i know at some point i was going to catch pike like this too as long as i can keep it on the hook on the outside and not have them break off i'm using 12 pound floral but that's a pretty big pike or a nice pike anyway i know it's i knew at some point i was going to catch a pike doing this too just something you're not going to avoid but as long as i keep that hook to the outside we won't we won't break them off <laughs> so cool so cool i've got pliers right behind me here you know what i'll grab this pliers first and just have them ready right beside me perfect okay buddy come on if i caught i've caught a real big one i could probably get my big net out i have a bunch of pike stuff with me if i'm gonna maybe pike fish today oh that's a good one that's a good one that is a good one right there. That's a pretty big pike. Pretty big pike. I would just unclip that in the water, but we want to show it off right now. Normally, when it's hooked like that, hardly, I just want to unclip it right in the water, especially if I'm fun fishing. But I want to show you guys the pike that we just caught. We're walleye fishing, but we're... Oh, took off on me here. Okay. Okay, see ya, buddy. The thing I love most about this style of fishing is it's active. It's fun. Casting, twitching, ripping, good hook sets. I, to me, the most boring style of fishing is pulling like a bottom bouncer or a little spinner around or Lindy rigging, stuff like that. To me, that's so boring. Like. That's the last thing I want to do. Whoa. I should really uh, focus on casting, not so much talking. Not to say I won't do it if I, if I had to, but I would rather learn other fun techniques. This is lots of fun. This is, this is lots of fun. To me, this is like just as much fun as like snap jigging plastics or jigging wraps type of thing like that, hyper rattles. This is something you can do so easily without electronics. Like I got the shore right beside me. I can see where it drops off and all I'm doing is just using my eyes and just visually moving along here and casting. You don't need electronics for something like this at all. Now, if I was gonna get super technical and side image all these fish, you could do that as well, but you don't need it for sure. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice. All I'm literally doing, just casting that drop off, I was drifting here and I wasn't even casting out or in. I was just literally going right down the edge of that drop off. These fish probably aren't gonna have a lot of fight in them today with it being pretty hot out. And, and of course I got a little bit stronger rod too type of thing, so. But it's walleye, oh easy, <laughs> almost. I'll try to put a hook in my hand. Walleye, I guess that's just walleye too. That's just walleye too. Somebody made a comment on my video that how come Clayton's walleye don't flop? They do, he just flopped right out of my hand. Where there's one walleye, especially that size, there's usually more. Twist 
which yeah yeah it's, it's more often than not there's more than one walleye grouped up schooled you should say not bad fish not bad fish at all i think i'm going to tell in here actually and see if there's some more walleye in that school nice fish it's a good way to catch better fish like to kind of get rid of some of the smaller ones and not go through like a hundred leeches in a day i'm gonna net this guy right here come on okay nice fish nice fish hooks out already okay we got the measuring board out now easy start to measure some of our fish uh 22 and three quarters 22 and three quarter awesome beautiful 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 sometimes when i first cast out i'll give it a couple quick retrieves just to kind of get it down a little bit and then i'll just resume with twitching out of nowhere i got a little bit of a breeze and i'm okay with that this technique actually would work better works better with a little bit of a chop a little bit of a breeze than it does when it's glass calm even so i'm excited for the next little bit to see what happens if this chop stays what we can pull with these twitch baits another fun thing about this bait is usually how hard they'll hit it too they'll hit it with some authority yep like that like that awesome very cool very cool very cool it's telling down here real quick it's crazy how much harder they'll hit it than they will like a jig and a leech or a jig and a minnow right bigger profile bait and they just assume that they got to hit it much harder to kill it you can the the best part literally about throwing a crank like this is just eliminating all of those smaller fish not having to deal with not our, how should i say it's not having to deal with 10 inches not that you're not going to catch some fish that are 10 inches but just not having to deal with as many compared to like a jig and leech that's another 20 inch or about awesome thanks buddy i talented down here so i'll make a few casts here where i caught that fish like i said earlier a lot of times they'll school up so take advantage of something like that anchor spot lock whatever right hammer that area out once that school has moved on or they figured you out go to the next school of fish let's catch one more fish and then we'll talk about some of the baits that i do this with i don't have a lot of different companies or baits that i use this is one i just started using as you can tell it works really good and then of course there's a husky jerk but i'll pull my tray out and just trying to show you what i'm using for the most part or what I've used in the past. And like I said, it's just a way to eliminate a lot of your smaller bites. Not that you're not gonna catch 10 inch fish, but for the most part, you're gonna catch the bigger ones. It's another classic spot for something like this. It's like, see these rocks in front of me that they extend all the way in? Points, 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 points. Walleyes love points. There we go. Oh, I love this. Love it. Ooh. They'll fight so hard too, because they'll just crush that bait. And don't be scared sometimes to so let it suspend there a couple seconds after you twitch it, right? Like you never know. This one feels decent, but it could be hooked sideways too. A lot of these fish will end up getting hooked sideways because there's quite a few hooks on there. And yeah, just like what happened here. Just like what happened here. But it's still, it's still not a 10 incher, that's for sure. That's for sure still a pretty nice fish easy it's still a still a 20 inch or 21 maybe he's gonna flop as soon as i let go of him there 21 ish maybe 20 and a half something like that i've got a couple of the baits pulled aside here i'll go through them really quick and then get back to fishing because that's what i really want to be doing not exactly talking about baits i'd rather be fishing but these are some of the baits I've used in the past, Rapala Husky Jerks. This is a bigger size, a little bit smaller size. They're a nice suspending twitch bait. This is a Shadow Wrap, I think it's called. Shadow, slow, slow rising Shadow Wrap, yeah, by Rapala. Those work pretty good as a twitch bait. But these are the ones I've been really liking now, these Bandit 
I believe they're called uh, shallow walleye, bandit shallow walleye baits. This is the one I'm slaying on now. I guess you haven't slain. I've got about four or five walleye and one nice pike. But they have a nice little rattle in them. They've been really good baits. I've got a nice color combination. If you do want to get some of the baits that I'm using right now, you can go to lurenet.com and actually use code Clayton15, but only for the people in the States. I'm not sure how to get it for the people in Canada for sure, but anything on that site actually, lurenet15, uh, no, sorry, lurenet.com, Clayton15, you can use for a discount on there. But yeah, I use lots of stuff off of there. The Phil Bobbers, I use lots. These cranks, the yum, lots of yum baits, the Ned Rigs I've been using this year from them. The Money Minnows are really good from yum. I'm a big fan of those and starting to play around with some other stuff. I think I just saw a walleye swim by. I better stand up and fish. But yeah, there's a few of the baits. These are good though. They've been crushing walleye. This is really the first year I've been fishing with them and I did a little bit of pre-fishing with them and slammed on them. Actually destroyed one like this color, absolutely destroyed it. And then after successfully doing the pre-fish, I like, well, let's go out and film a video with them. So here we are. Oh, bang, right off the drop off. Oh, there was three of them there. There was this one and two others. <laughs> Unbelievable. First cast after doing my little spiel, hadn't even picked up the talon yet. So there's obviously some walleye on that drop off. Very nice fish, very nice fish. Whoa, oh, easy. Easy. Oh, easy. Having a smorgasbord of hooks on here, I do like to make them barbless. Three hooks is a lot. You could take off the middle hook easily, but when you're running them barbless, oh, I got to that line. Oh, it came off. When you're running barbless, definitely works to uh, keep all three on, especially dealing with the fish in the net or grabbing them like that, man, those hooks can flip so quick and you can bury one inside of you. So that's why I like to run them barbless with three trebles on there. Three trebles is a little bit overkill for sure, but if you are gonna take off one, take off probably the middle one, the front or the back could kill the action of the bait. Nice far cast, give that fish plenty of time. I'm using a bait casting rod for this because I like to use bait casters when I'm twitching baits like this. You could use a spinning rod, I find it's just a little bit harder to be getting a good twitch rhythm with it. But that being said, you'll teach yourself though. If you're not comfortable with a bait caster, get a spinning rod and just learn how to twitch with the spinning rod. You can do it. Oh, jeez, I, I was burning it in because I had some weeds on it, I felt like, or it didn't feel like it was running properly. And this fish just nailed it. Like I started to just burn it in. Man, walleye, <laughs> they're aggressive fish, you guys. They are an aggressive fish. Kid you not, walleyes, especially the bigger ones, like the lake that I'm fishing now, isn't known to consistently catch walleye this size. The wall, the, usually the walleye that I'm catching at this lake are a lot from like 10 to, 17, 18 inches. There's another 21 incher. I'm not saying you're not gonna come out here and catch 21 or 22 inch or even a 30 incher type of thing on a jig and a leech or a jig and a minnow, but you're gonna catch a better average with baits like that. I've been fishing for 45 minutes and I've caught five, six fish over 20 inches already, I think, something like that. Maybe four fish, I don't know. Anyway, my hat's on silly because my head camera, I look like a donkey, but this donkey is having fun. Oh, 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 this one feels better. This one feels a little bit better. Could be, like I said, hooked funny though, like some of them do. Oh, looks decent, looks decent, decent. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Down, 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 stay down, stay down. Where's my net? Stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down, buddy. Oh yeah, come on, come on. That's a good one. Oh, Clayton. Oh, almost messed up that net job. My net's loose. My net's loose, almost messed, messed up the net job. Let's pull it up real quick, show it off and measure. It's a nice one. 
It's a nice fish right there. Beautiful, easy. Good one. Walleyes on the cranks. Can't complain about that, that's for sure. Lots of fun. Big old humpback. 25 and a quarter. 25 and a quarter. I should have did this the J vs. Clay day. But you live and you learn. Thanks, buddy. Beautiful. I know I talked about the rod a little bit. I didn't cover the line though. I'm using 20 pound. Right here is my leader to leader knot. I'm using like actually probably about a 10 foot fluorocarbon leader. But my main line is 20 pound suffix 131 G core. And then I'm running a 12 pound advanced fluorocarbon leader. Seems to do the trick, seems to do the trick. I don't want too heavy of line that it's going to not let that bait dive down. So I want something that's got a pretty thin diameter, but I don't want something too light. I find 10 pound line for this just a little bit too light. When you're casting and snapping all day, that's when you'll end up having some break offs at some point. So this 20 pound suffix line has been really, really good. What a life. I'm just happy. Got a little bit of a breeze, so it took the, the heat away because it was getting hot, like hot. Clayton don't like the heat. Clayton likes, Clayton likes just cool. Clayton doesn't like hot. So it was getting really hot with no breeze, not gonna lie. And this breeze came along and made everything way better. Let's get a fancy cast here and not hook the camera. Oh, <laughs> so aggressive, man. Twitch, twitch, bang, bang. You can, I don't know if you can see on the GoPro. It feels good too. Jesus, this one's not hooked funny. It's a pretty good one. I hope you're not hooked funny. Feels like a good fish. I was just gonna say, you can maybe see on the GoPro, the little uh, drop off there, how it goes from shallow to deep pretty quick. No, it's another nice fish. Another nice fish. Another nice fish. Jeez, it's hooked a little bit funny, but it's still nice. Unbelievable. What a day. Oh, I should have brought my longer net for this. Longer net is better for this style of fishing, that's for sure. Hooks came out quick. Another, I'm not gonna measure them because my net's in the way, but another 24 inch, probably maybe 25. That fish hit it like right away too. So cool, so cool. You can see the drop off right there. I got sand and then it goes dark water instantly. Well, I'm just gonna stay town here for a little bit and cover this area because wow. Casting out almost all the way to that drop off. And then just real couple quicks, couple quick cranks, <laughs> can't talk, and then start twitching. Got him. Unbelievable. Three casts in a row now. These things are all like golden quality walleye. Like should be northern material right here. How aggressive they are, how chunky they are. Unbelievable. Well, can we go? Can we go four? For four, that is the question. Carp, oh, hammered, jeez. <laughs> this is unreal, four for four. Carp spawning over there, walleye eating here. Just absolutely crushing. This bait is legit, legit. I love to pike fish so much because of how much is involved in terms of casting, seeing fish strike, all that stuff, right? Aggressiveness. I enjoy the heck out of this style of walleye fishing. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think this should count as a cast, but okay, yes it does. I was gonna say I started off twitching funny, but that's five for five. Five casts in a row. Something tells me they are loaded up here and I'm not gonna move until I stop catching fish the, I think a big thing too is stay, stay away from the fish that you're catching. Don't drift over there and spook them all. 
sit back here and pluck off one at a time. Okay, you're not even gonna get shown off to the camera. Another 19 inch fish. Five fish in a row and they're all bigger than 19 inches. Oh, that was a bad cast. I'm not gonna go six for six with that cast. I did not get any juice on it. If I catch one here, I'm the luckiest duck in the world. I got one, yes! Six for six with a horrible cast, and it's a tiny one. I got rewarded with a small fish. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm way too excited. I'm way too excited. Well, six for six got rewarded. I shouldn't have got rewarded for a bad cast. I got lucky, I should say then. I don't know. YouTube's hard, you try to make a video. Right there, right there. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh yeah, nice. Cast seven was good. Cast seven was good. Cast seven was good. Oh baby, Vegas of the day I think. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I went too early, went too early. Oh yes, biggest of the day, seven for seven. We are lighting them up right now. Okay, hook out, quick measurement. This is the biggest of the day though, for sure. Just touches 26. Just touches, oh easy. Just touches 26, baby. Awesome. <laughs> Cast seven was a good one. Thanks, buddy. Clayton's a pretty sad panda right now. Just finished going seven for seven and my GoPro is not recording. And I don't know, I don't know when it stopped. Unfortunately, I haven't, I, I do have a new GoPro coming, which I'm super pumped about, but unfortunately right now, this one, when it, it gets hot out and it overheats, it just shuts off without me knowing. And I probably mentioned a few videos already, but darn it. I'm still having fun. Okay, head camera's up and running again. Let's see if we can go eight for eight. Oh, I like to cast, I like to cast. Whew. Focus, let's do it, eight for eight. Eight for eight. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Eight for eight on the cranks. Eight for eight. At least now the head camera is going. Who knows how much I went for before, but we're back, back. Another 20 inch walleye. Oh, floppy. Okay, are we doing nine for nine? Good cast, good cast, good placement. Okay, let's do nine for nine. I had a follow. That was it, eight for eight. Eight for eight, I had a follow on that one there too. I was that close. I'm gonna catch one this cast. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I knew it, I just knew it. I don't know why, it just all felt good though. It all felt good. That's like one of the smallest ones so far. Unbelievable. Smallest fish, 18 inches, hello. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, come on. God, oh, that's a nice one. He's liking that twitching though, he's liking that twitching. Liking it, twitch, twitch, don't just reel it, twitch it, twitch. Twitch, twitch, bang. Twitch, twitch, bang. Hammering the wall. It's just hammering them. Unbelievable. What a day. What a day. Or what What a day. What an hour or two. What, what a two hours of fishing. Not super fat, but a beautiful little 22 incher. Here he comes. Got him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So good. I watched that while I charged from over there, straight at my bait, like aggressive, so aggressive. Just another super impressive walleye. 
What a day. What I keep saying what a day. It's like what a couple hours. Like insane. Insane. The quality of fish I've caught today has been mind blowing. Got him. <laughs> Unreal. I was adjusting my trolling motor and literally letting it suspend there for a second. Okay, I think after this fish, I shouldn't say I think. I know after this fish right here, I land him. I'm going to try a couple areas yet before I wrap up this video and see if we can maybe get a big one. Well, that'll wrap up this video. I've caught lots of fish. Really, if I catch any more, the video is just going to be too long. So I'm actually going right now to cool off for a little bit and then come back out and maybe try to film another video yet today. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, get outside.